फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सुरजीत घोष वेलकम टू माई चैनल डॉक्टर घोष प्रेजेंट मैसे डॉक्टर सुरजीत घोष फ्रॉम चैनल डॉक्टर घोष प्रेजेंट यू नो आई एम डूइंग फॉर लास्ट मोर देन वन इयर्स वीडियोज ऑन होम्योपैथी देर आर फोर डिफरेंट पे प्ले लिस्ट होमिओपैथिक थेरापिटिक्स इन बांगला होमिओपैथिक थेरापिटिक्स इन इंग्लिश होमिओपैथिक रिमेडी पिक्चर इन बांगला होमिओपैथिक रिमेडी पिक्चर इन इंग्लिश नाउ एक्चुअली व्हाट आई व्हाट आई वांट टू से इज दैट यू विल गेट अबाउट 12 टू 1300 वीडियोस ऑन दिस सब्जेक्ट टॉप 10 होमिओपैथिक रिमेडीज फॉर कॉमन प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ कॉर्निया व्हाट इज कॉर्निया कॉर्निया इज अ ट्रांसपेरेंट आउटर लेयर इन फ्रंट ऑफ एन आई इट हेल्प्स टू फोकस लाइट 70 75% on to retina for distinct vision look at this picture this portion is this portion is cornea this is transparent this transparent the white portion is called sclera and the color brown color behind this uh, top portion it is actually internal structure it is iris and central dot is actually pupil this is this portion this ring portion this seen here clearly sideways note the same thing in the side view this is cornea what are common problems of cornea injuries allergies dry eye keratitis corneal dystrophy these are common problems of eye injuries injury may be of various types common scratches heal spontaneously however deeper ones need medical attention including appropriate remedies and supportive care to avoid scarring and vision problem injury when is there is injury since there is injury so injury when injury will be uh, when it is uh, done some scratching will be there but that is very difficult for eye so scratching is to be avoided here in this particular case allergies allergen may cause allergic conjunctivitis commonly called pink eyes which makes eye red itchy and watery dry eyes it is a condition when eye fails to secrete enough tear to keep eye moist giving rise to uncomfortable feeling and vision problem eye watering in generally we are uh, we do not like it eye watering means something bad but eye is constantly watering eye is constantly watering and that eye water is washing our eyes always and the particular water drains through this corner this angle of eyes there are two fine tubes with through that tube that eye passes into the nasal cavity keratitis inflammation of cornea redness swelling is called keratitis when this cornea is inflamed that is keratitis there are a lot of condition that may lead to keratitis most common being contact lens contact lens is used today nowadays a lot of contact lens is used by many persons and repeated uh, fitting and dislodging this gives trouble that is gives some sort of friction there as a result keratitis is caused though these lens are very nicely prepared and there are things to be applied before with the on the contact lens something like oily substance so that there is no friction yet there is there may form keratitis to this contact lens corneal dystrophy when there is unwanted material build up in cornea dystrophy results there are many types of corneal dystrophy namely superficial dystrophy crystalline dystrophy granular etc etc these are details not much required here when to consult doctor in case of corneal problems consult doctor if you have any of the following intense eye pain vision blurry anything stuck in the eye eyes very red constant watery eyes change of original vision in case of serious eye injury practically speaking in case of eye injury or eye troubles uh, it is better to get doctor's help as early as possible what precautions should one take to protect injury to cornea 
we are protective gears these are called protective gears i gears protective i gears uh, while playing outdoor games like baseball hockey etc mowing lawns using weed whackers or similar type works while painting or hammering working with hand tool machines like drilling etc use chemicals like pesticide to be frank where when whenever one is working something that from uh, particular instrument or say machine if something comes out at any point of time may come out at any point of time this is you think this is weed whacker from weed whacker constantly pieces of weeds are coming out pieces of grasses are coming out drilling machine some fine uh, iron or metallic pieces are coming out in this way when you chemicals chemicals are coming out whenever there is chance of this thing you have to wear this protective gear to safeguard your eye particularly cornea how to protect corneal health get intense colorful fruits and veggies enough regularly this colorful fruits and veggies helps lot forget smoking protect eyes from sun and other uv lights this is very important protecting eyes from sun and uv lights very very important thing uh, colored this is goggles one must wear whenever it is needed blink eye to 10 second in every hour blinking of eyes give a lot of uh, relaxation to eye so this is you please practice this blink eyes for 10 second in every hour if you are busy in business, intense work follow 20 20 20 rules for every 20 minutes look at an object 20 feet away and for 20 seconds say you are reading a book or you are working with computer so your eye is fixed within a say 10 inch or 12 inch distance due to constant uh, fixation of this distance your eye adaptability is uh, not working is not working it is fixed so this is if you do this for a long time this is this will damage the adaptability of the eye so you have to break this thing follow this 20 20 20 rules that is for every 20 minutes look at the point at object 20 feet away for 20 seconds and then you are going to come back to your work what should i do if something seems to stuck in my eyes this question was asked by one of my uh, patient wash eyes with clear water or normal saline water the best thing blink several times pull upper eyelid down over lower eyelid and release so that this thing can go never try to pull out the stuck up material yourself never rub your eyes consult doctor immediately if all the above feel to be frank to be frank best thing is to go to doctor these are something which one can try but if you are not confident enough to do this thing you please consult doctor as soon as possible in this type of case argentum net for cornea problems ulcerations of cornea in newborn babes or any form of purulent ophthalmia with purulent discharge profuse discharge from eyes ulceration with halo around the light by day and darting pain through eyes morning and evening better feeling in cool open air argentum net patient always better feeling in cool open air what's in a warm room arsenicum for cornea problems arsenicum specially for scrofulous anemic and restless children ulceration in cornea superficial with a tendency to recur in one eye to recur recur means repeated infection in one eye then in the other excessive photophobia pain burning throbbing pulsating worse after midnight bathing in warm water relieves arsenic patient the all aggravation in midnight and warm water relieves them cadmium for cornea problems opacity in cornea connected with slow inflammation and blenorrhea from injury blenorrhea means excessive coming out of fluid watery fluid from injury from some place calcarea eye retention for cornea problems ulceration in stroma subject with enlargement of tonsil cervical glands stroma means actually 
scrofulas. Arnica for cornea problems. Traumatic ulceration with much hemorrhage in the anterior chamber. Note the pic picture. This picture on the right hand side. <coughs> bleeding in the anterior chamber. This is the anterior chamber where bleeding is done. This is the anterior chamber. Is, this chamber is called anterior chamber. This is posterior chamber. The lens has divided the whole eye into two chambers. Posterior, anterior. Posterior big chamber. This is full of vitreous humor. And anterior chamber, this is full of aqua humor. Possible for cornea problems. Superficial ulcer following flictinuli. Flictinuli is nodular inflammation uh, over sclera and cornea. Thick, bland, white, yellow discharge, better in open air. Patient soft, modest, yielding, feeling better in open air with lacrimose mood. Hemomelis for cornea problems, keratitis from a blow or burn, especially when complicated with hemorrhage into anterior chamber. The same thing, anterior chamber. This picture has shown just a few minutes back. Oram for cornea problems. Ulceration in cornea, especially when occurring in course of penas or scrofulous ophthalmia. Patient quite irritable, sensitive to noise. Cervical glands enlarged and inflamed. Nitam carb for cornea problems. Flictinuli, the same thing, flictinular inflammation with great photophobia and stinging pain, especially in scrofulous patient. Sulfur for cornea problems. Indolent keratitis with no photophobia. Keratitis, indolent, there is not much trouble is there. No photophobia there yet. Sulfur is the medicine, but accumulation of pus in the anterior chamber due to destruction of tissue. Note the picture. This is nothing but pus is accumulated in the anterior chamber. If you do not know that sulfur is a, this medicine is sulfur, remedy is sulfur, you will simply, you will tell, you will get frightened and you will tell your patient, please go, this is not, this is beyond my control, go to some eye specialist or some surgeon. No, if you know, first no is no, then no is you, 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 are, you are aware that this is a situation when sulfur is needed. Give sulfur 1M or 200, anything. Within two, maximum two days or three days, this will be absorbed. This will be absorbed by the system automatically. No intervention of uh, surgical is, surgery is required. All troubles worse from bathing eyes. Naturally, sulfur patient, that will be bathing eyes will in increase the situation and in aggravate the situation. Patients hot like to get bare body, grape sweets, fat, etc. With this, the video ends. Thanks for listening and viewing. Any problem, write in the comment section. I would certainly respond.